you are about to watch a video on how to quickly, inexpensively, and most importantly, permanently repair a hole or a crack in a plastic gas tank. If you Google how to repair a plastic gas tank, you will get a lot of options. Unfortunately, over time, almost all of those options will fail. They will fail for two reasons. One is those options are rigid. They're a rigid repair. With any rigid repair, when the gas tank expands and contracts from either heat or simply putting gasoline in the tank, eventually those rigid repairs will crack. Vibration also will call rigid repairs to crack. Our PTFE patches are flexible. And with our patented polymer bonding process, the PTFE patch will be permanently bonded onto the hole or crack in your tank. Because they are bonded on, the repair of your plastic gas tank will be permanent. The PTFE patch will stretch and contract with the, either the heat or the addition of gasoline. PTFE is a chemical name for Teflon. Teflon is impervious or highly resistant to all grades, types, and octane levels of both gasoline and diesel fuels. Your next question will be, how will I know the PTFE patch is bonded on to the HDPE tank? The short answer is heat. In our demonstration that you are about to see, we will measure the heat generated by the chemical reaction of our polymer bonding process. That heat lets you know that the bond is permanent. Let me show you a patch that has been bonded on. This tank contains 93 octane gasoline that's been in there for several months now. The patch is bonded on. It's been in the cold, we haven't been hot yet, uh, but it will expand with the heat and the contraction. Um, there's also another repair that you can make with the plastic gas tank. We have gotten calls on plastic fixtures into a plastic gas tank that there's a slight leak coming out of the fixture. You can use our polymer bonding process to apply the adhesive and our adhesive is also impervious to the gasoline and the diesel, no matter the octane level, because we drilled a small hole here and used the polymer bonding process to apply actually three levels of adhesive to stop the leak. And that leak has stopped permanently. There are two more things to talk about. There are times when you need a coating on your patch, like if there is a strap holding the gas tank up onto your vehicle. We can add a coating onto the patch that will increase the abrasion resistance on the patch so that that strap will not wear into the patch. We do recommend it in that situation. The other thing I'd like to ask you is a favor. You're looking on this because you have a hole in your gas tank. You'd much rather, rather than waiting, ordering and waiting for delivery, be able to go to, down to your local auto parts store and pick up a TechBond PTFE patch. So when this works as promised, please go to your local auto parts store, tell them about the PTFE patches, and tell them that they should carry those patches in the store so that the next time it happens, either for, to you or for one of your friends, the patch is readily available. Thank you and enjoy the video. Hello, welcome to the Tech Bond video on how to repair a hole or crack in a plastic gas tank. Now, to make that repair, you will need a Tech Patch kit. The Tech Patch kit will come with a PTFE Tech patch 
either the plus or the standard PTFE tech patch, step-by-step -step instructions on how to make a repair. And for a poly tank, you need a poly kit. You will need to supply the method that you want to use, either a rotary sander or sandpaper to abrade the surface down below the sheen. All polymers have sheens. That sheen doesn't come from the polymer. So you need to, to wrap it down below that sheen so that you can get a bond between the surfaces. Now, the patch has already been abraded and primed, so you won't need to worry about that. But you do need to abrade and prime the HDPE tank. Now, if you're repairing a crack, you will need to take a drill and drill a small hole at each end of the crack. This prevents the crack from expanding when you add fuel or when it heats during the summer months, just from the outside temperature. Now, the first thing we need to do is to abrade it. Again, working with polymer, you abrade it to where it's below the sheen. You can tell by looking and even by the touch that you're below the sheen. Once you're below the sheen, you have to clean that area to remove all residue. So use any cleaner that will not leave a residue and wipe it clean with a soft cloth or a shop towel. Then with your Tecmon kit, you've got three chemicals, the polyprep, the activator accelerator, our catalyst, our all important catalyst, and the adhesive. And as you will see, the adhesive, it's much thicker than what you buy in the store so that your hands don't get stuck while you're putting the patch on. Now, we want to start with priming the surface. And to prime the surface, and tech patch kits also come with instructions. To prime the surface, you saturate the surface. It's an etch, and the etch has to do a lot. So you give it enough product, enough of the poly prep, enough of the etching solution so that it can do its job. And you let that dry. Now let's get the patch ready. You can get a patch just to fit. Patches start by two and a half by three inches. They'll go up to, all the way to four and a half by 12 inches. So just cut the patch. To fit. And again, this has been primed. You don't have to do anything with it except later we will put the adhesive on and put it on our prepared surfaces. Now we've cut the patch to fit. We have to finish the preparation. We'll take the activator accelerator and spray the area that you, you have primed. Again, this is our catalyst. This helps with the chemical reaction. By temperature, it's about 120 degrees Fahrenheit, 49 degrees centigrade. By touch, just below hot. And you will have to warm the PTFE patch. It's been primed, but it hasn't been warmed. That warmth generates an endothermic reaction and the catalyst changes that reaction to an exothermic reaction. 
And that's what creates a bond. You want to warm the whole area where the patch is going to go. When both the tank and the patch are warm enough, you apply the adhesive. And it's our thicker SI Black. And you're going to apply it all over the patch except for diagonal corners using concentric circles. And you want to get the entire patch coated. So be pretty liberal, but you're using concentric circles so it'll spread. A little more in the middle where the holes are. Take those diagonal corners where you did not put the adhesive and then apply tension and press the patch down. Press down the edges. Then take either your putty knife or your glue squeegee and apply pressure from the center out. And then you also want to again warm up the patch. And you'll, you'll feel the patch starting to get, to get hotter than what the... And I've got a thermal... I've got an infrared. And we're up to 135 degrees. That increase in temperature it's going to be maintained for a few minutes and lets you know that the chemical reaction is ongoing and the patch will adhere to the HDPE. Now, you inspect the patch. You also take your thicker adhesive and run a bead all the way around the seam. And you spray the catalyst on the seam. Visually inspect. Make sure there's not a problem. If the edges are not down, put a little adhesive under the edges. Press down. And spray with the accelerator. In this case, both edges had to have a little more adhesive. Again, spray with the accelerator. Tech patches and PTFE patches are not a new technology. They have been proven over five years of field testing and lab testing. They always work. Always. Thank you for watching. Again, a favor. When the patch performs your satisfaction, please let your local auto parts store know that the patches are available. We would like to work with them and hope they would like to work with us so that the next time you have a problem, you can just run down to your local auto parts store and get a PTFE tech patch. Thank you.